Hey guys, hi, I'm James. I'm with Full Octane Garage. Uh, today we're going to look at a product that was introduced to us on Ed Bullion's uh, YouTube channel called uh, VinWiki. If you haven't checked that channel out, you really should. It's one of the best uh, YouTube channels out there. We met Ed the day he started VinWiki, or the day after he started VinWiki. Uh, they did an expo at uh, National Cars and Coffee. Uh, but the product that we're looking at today is the Glossin Evo Gloss Enhancer Detail Spray. There's a lot of detail sprays out there. Um, this is one that he recommended on his channel. Actually had a promotion where if you just paid for the shipping and handling, they would ship it to you free. Uh, this product runs about 15 bucks or so. There'll be a link down below for it. Uh, but we're going to check it out and see how it works compared to uh, some of the other detail sprays that we've used. And we're going to use it on the Project 8 and the XKRS GT. So they're two super rare cars, and uh, I'm super sensitive about what I put on them. So it says it's good, so let's find out. Welcome to the Full Octane Garage. Normally use uh, detail spray when it's when you don't have to wash your car, but you want to knock the dust and stuff off real quick. But you want to make sure you're using some type of lubricated spray so you don't damage the paint surface. Uh, so that's what this is supposed to do. So we're going to check it out. All right, this is not going to be a long video. Um, you don't want to spend thirty the next thirty minutes watching me wipe dust off the car. But uh, we'll, I'm going to take a look at the car, show you what's on the cars right now. It's just from regular, normal highway and back road driving. And uh, this is the product that we're going to use. We're going to follow the directions on the back. And we're going to use some clean, brand new microfiber towels. Now, it better be good stuff, Ed, because I'm using it on two of the rarest Jags in the world. We've got the... Uh, 2014 XKRS GT 140 and the 2019 Project 8, one of about 220 in the world. I do drive them. They do get a little dirty and dusty, but uh, let's take a look at the GT real quick. Uh, to the naked eye, it doesn't look bad, but no, I have not done anything with it since I drove it last. And so, of course, it does have just your reg regular road dust type stuff on it and some dead bugs apparently <laughs> this car is a uh, half ppf uh, it's got a full front ppf the uh, project 8 on the other hand has got these weird cutouts on the wheels so you're guaranteed that you're going to get stuff on the carbon fiber and other material behind both wheels because the wheels there's nothing to stop the wheels from kicking stuff up and throwing it all the way down the side of the car. So just regular driving road dust. And uh, I'm gonna try the product out and see how it works. Ah, it says it's good on glass as I'm reading the directions. So we're gonna try that out too. I don't normally use detail spray on glass, but now I'm curious. All right, first thing we do, the only time we're allowed to do this, gotta take off the wedding ring. I don't want to scratch my car. Uh, the detail towels, these are big towels, actually better for drying at this size. Normally what we do is, uh, what the heck, uh, fold them over a couple times and just use a surface about the size of your hand and then you can constantly fold it over, fold it over to get clean surfaces while you're working. Uh, the product comes with the bottle and then the sprayer, you just have to put the sprayer back on the bottle before you start. All right, I'm gonna start off by saying it's killing the glass. Uh, cleaning glass is tough. You know what I'm talking about, you detail cars watching off. You know how it's like, it's almost impossible to get your glass clean. 
it always smears, stuff stays on it, you get that little cloudy stuff. But if this gets this side out like it did the other, because this is covered with bugs and crap. Wow, okay, I'm really impressed with the glass. If it's doing the paint like that, then we're really getting somewhere. Now the, uh, so I've cleaned it a painted surface and I've cleaned it a glass surface. The uh, hood of the GT has got PPF, the whole front end has PPF. I'm gonna try that just to get a different uh, mix of surfaces and see how it's doing. These raised louvers are always a pain. Especially the wax in the car. There's always stuff getting stuck in there. It feels a lot slicker. I will say that right now. This car has been waxed. But the difference in the surface, the car feels a lot smoother after the application. I'm trying not to get excited about this. I want to give a good impartial review. But uh, I'm really getting impressed at the moment. I'm going to fan the boy out on Ed here. <laughs> okay, so I did the roof of the car, which is a painted surface, did the side window and the windshield, with it, which is a glass surface, and then did the hood, which is uh, been PPF'd. Um, my impression... It's doing exactly what it's supposed to. Uh, it's dusty, a little bit of bugs and stuff like that. It has come out really clean, really smooth. I don't feel like I'm damaging the paint at all. I mean, it is slick like the first time that I've waxed it. It feels really good. I feel like it's doing exactly what it's supposed to to protect the surface of my car. I'm gonna go ahead and knock the rest out. See how much of that uh, bottle I use, and then uh, give you my final thoughts. Okay, guys, the uh, results are in. I am really impressed with this product. The I just did the GT. It took about 15 minutes, and that's one of the things you got to look at, right? Uh, how easy does the product go on? And it's just like any other detail spray as far as the application. Except what I found was I used a lot less detail spray. Uh, the, the product went a long way. I didn't want to fanboy out about this stuff, but uh, it really, it really is good. I didn't realize a detail spray could be, uh, could deliver like this detail spray does. What really surprised me was its uh, glass cleaning ability. Uh, it really did a great job on glass where I normally struggle with that type of stuff. You know, you're always, God, you hit it four or five times over and over again. And you just can't get it clear. Uh, this, uh, this got it the first time around. So really impressed with that. The surface <laughs> really has a waxed like surface now. Uh, of course I keep my cars waxed anyways. But after you've been driving around for a bit, you get that, uh, I don't know, you know, you get that filament all on there, and even though you detail spray it off or wash it, sometimes you get the stickiness from the washing detergent or uh, road grime, and it uh, just doesn't quite feel like it should. Uh, this product really brought it back to its original, I mean, I wish I could <laughs> explain I just can't say it. Up. It's it's like a fre it feels like a freshly waxed surface, and this car hasn't been waxed in probably three months or so. Uh, really impressed with how it how it worked on. This is the PPF, and got the same results on the paint. Uh, when I when I run my finger along the paint, it feels super smooth, super smooth. And this car was pretty gritty and dirty. I probably drove it a couple hundred miles. Okay, guys. So we had a chance to check this product out. Uh, super impressed. Uh, it has an almost a silicone type feel, a, a very slick feeling like a freshly waxed car after uh, you've used it. The surface is just super clean, uh, a lot different than a regular detail spray. So really impressed with that part of it. 
Uh, also really impressed with its glass cleaning ability. I would almost just buy it for that. Um, it kept it, it with bugs and stuff on there. I struggle with cleaning glass on cars for whatever reason, uh, but this uh, really seemed to give me a better result. Uh, worked fine on the PPF, carbon fiber, painted surfaces, and glass. And the amount that we used is practically nothing. This did two dirty cars. That's how much I got left of a 16 ounce bottle. I bet I didn't use an ounce of it. And for the around $15 price plus the shipping and handling, I think you're dollars ahead just using it compared to the other items, and I feel like it's a better product. So thanks, Ed, for uh, sending us the bottle. Um, terribly impressed. We'll, uh, we'll definitely be buying some more. Uh, this product would be great on rallies. It comes with a separate cap with a sealer on it so that it doesn't leak. So it would travel really well. It could do a bunch of cars, so I bet you could do a half a dozen rally cars for a long weekend with this one bottle and uh, just touch them up so they look all nice and shiny. Uh, but thanks for joining us at the Full Octane Garage. If you like our videos, uh, please give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and please leave a comment down below. Uh, what detail sprays are you using? Have you used this product? What are you looking for? What do you think about it? What's your favorite type of pie? I don't care. Comments help. Please leave one down below. And uh, check us out on Facebook and Instagram. I think that'll do it. We'll see you guys soon at the Fall Octane Garage.